So before the video begins, I wanted to give you a bit of an overview or an explanation of the trip that I did through Norway. Uh, this is part of a series of uh, my Scandinavia series, so that's Norway, Sweden and Finland. And it was a 4,000 plus kilometer trip over the course of 45 days. I was in Norway for about a week doing about 500 kilometers, a little bit more than that. And the trip starts from Riskansen, Sweden to uh, Kilpasjave, Finland. And now I just want to quickly show you a map of the route, which you can view online. So you can view the route on ridewithgps.com, and I'll leave a link in the description. And if we want, we'll just uh, zoom in on Norway real quick. And I almost forgot to mention that this trip was done in the month of July in 2017. It was all on the Arctic coast, pretty much. Very, very beautiful. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'm almost there. Oh god. There are these tunnels in Norway. My god, they're so scary. I completely forgot about that. I was walking around the outside of one and there was this old road, this old path. And in the last 500 meters was chopped off and dumped into the ocean. Before I get onto the E6, which is just coming up in a few moments. The weather is cleared today. It's a uh, few blue patches of sky over there. And uh, we gotta hop onto the E6 for some time, which is a bit annoying. It's not gonna last for too long, so just enjoying it while it lasts. Everything is amazing. It's amazing. Look at these little lake river things. I don't know what you call them. Look at that. There's a bit of sun lighting up the green down there and the jagged mountains in the background. It's incredible. Gotta admit it's a pretty nice place to live out here. Check that out. Just have that mountain view and the mist and the sun. <sighs> right now it's it's good. It's like you know it's partly cloudy. It's mostly overcast. Um, but it rains a lot around this area. Like if you look at a, a map of the raining in this area, it's a lot. So here we are. Yeah. Climbing. Is Ro Rolf right? Yeah, Rolf. Rolf. Uh, that's a fantastic bike he's using there. Cannondale. Seven kilos. What the f <laughs> Steep climb along the Arctic coast and the Norwegian coast, of course. It's a bit windy now because we're facing the wind. But then we'll go downhill and have the tailwind back. God, it's stunning. Here we are at the top of the climb. Oh yeah, yeah, it's beautiful up here. Woo! 
That is dark. That is creepy. That is really creepy. Is that why it flexes a little? Oh god, that's weird. That's really weird. So, I can't really believe this, but um, I'm at a place where someone recommended to me via a friend of a friend I'm gonna stay at this house here they've gone back to the main town Finsnes which is where I just came from and they'll be there for four days or so and I got the whole house for myself for the next if I want to four days so I thought what? <laughs> this is amazing it's a little room here it says at 1 to 2 a.m. which I know sounds really late to us Europeans living down south but way up north 24 hours of light so it says that the clouds is gonna die down a lot at 1 to 2 a.m. so I'm gonna try and ride around that time um, not far it's mainly about just pick, picking up some nice scenery footage on the camera who knows maybe the scenery's the clouds don't disappear and I have to um, wait, I don't know. Robin Hood, that's a good one. That's, that's it. We got another episode of Lion King. I used to love those when I was younger. You can see over there, the, it's just gorgeous. Finally, I get some good weather. It's not raining anymore. Oh, let's see what footage we can get, guys. But I'm in a tunnel. Woo! Oh, it's very long. Look at that. This is actually quite a nice tunnel. This is super creepy. Can you see me all right? I don't know. Got my lights on. Always go through with lights on. There's very little traffic. Can you get a good shot out of that, Jeff? I might go to Scowland as well, because I've heard there's a nice beach over there to go and visit. God, it's cold there. Oh my god, it's cold. Woo. Oh, there's like so little traffic now. It's really, really nice. I've lost signal completely on my phone. expecting this. <sighs> I've never seen the midnight sun before and this is holy shit. You know, when you ask the universe for something, you you get it. This is incredible. Okay, it is picture time.
I'll stay awake now. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I'd see the midnight sun, but that is so cool. That's amazing. So, it's the morning. Um, as you can tell, I kind of woke up late, of course, because I got to bed at like 2 or 3 a.m. I noticed with the camera that I, w I wish I had something better. It's like the phone I have and the, and, the, and the GoPro that I have are getting some really fantastic results, but I just wish that I could capture even more. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I wish that the quality, the sharpness, the... Yeah. It doesn't feel so cold. That's weird. Let's try and feel it again. It probably doesn't capture it right on the GoPro, that's what I noticed. It's really just breathtaking. What? Beautiful coastline. So it's currently night over there. Well, technically it's not night. It's really weird. And these people just have their homes right next to the mountains. It's just incredible out here. So I'm currently leaving Huisui. It's not even sunny and it's blue. And it's an incredible view. So now I'm going to head up um, a mountain through two tunnels as well. I've stayed with some amazing folks who let me stay over. And uh, I'll be leaving this absolutely mystical place. So Huisoi is its own little island and I have to ride over this one road which goes to it. The guy used to live here, or sorry, he lives here. He's lived here all his life. And the road I'm climbing up now, he's lived here before that road was made. That's how long he's been on this island for. I wish you could see what I'm seeing. It's just, it's mystical. The mist on the mountains out there and... This is like mid-July. And uh, it's cold. Pedaling up the hills not so bad. It's like generating your own heat, but like downhills and you gotta wear gloves and this is like spring. Beginning of spring for Britain. from the border now and uh, I think I think that's Finland basically that that mountain over there and then here's Norway so almost there almost there it's kind of cool so I don't know if you can see that it's quite pretty We're about to 
across the Finnish border. It's literally over there. And here we are. Well, almost at the Finnish border. So, I think I'll go and grab a photo.